This is the first of three tutorials that will give an overview of the new 3D capabilities within Photoshop CS3 Extended. This tutorial will focus on the object tool, the second tutorial will focus on the camera tool, and the third tutorial will focus on texture editing and visualizing the effects of texture edits within Photoshop CS3 Extended. As you can see, I have a PSD document open that has two layers. The first is a vector smart object layer, and the second is a 3D layer. In order to import a 3D model into Photoshop, there are two ways to do this. The first is you can just open any of the supported file formats for 3D models, which includes OBJ, 3DS, Collada, KMZ, which is the Google Earth format, and U3D, which is the Acrobat 3D file format. The second way, especially if you have an existing PSD document that you want to place a 3D model into, is to go to 3D layers and then new layer from 3D file and navigate to the model that you want to open. Now that I have this model imported into Photoshop uh, and I'm creating my composite here, I want to scale down and rotate the 3D model as it's a little too large for the composite. There are two ways to invoke the object tool. The first is to double click on the layer thumbnail within the 3D layer. The second is to go to layer 3D layers transform 3D model. As you can see, the object tool is selected by default and I can rotate the model. As you see here, I can roll the model, I can drag the model, slide the model, and also scale the model. So let me get this into the position that I want it. I think that's much better. And there are also different rendering options as well. So let's say I wanted more of a wireframe look here. I can just go and select that option. And as you see, I have my line color here set to orange by default. But let's say I actually wanted it to be black so it stands up uh, a little bit more against the background. And if I don't like that option, I can just simply go back to the default and I get the original can look. I can also create uh, composites using different cross-sections, so you can duplicate 3D layers just as with any other Photoshop layer. So I can have different cross-sections and different render modes across the layers to build kind of really interesting composites within Photoshop. So as you can see, I can create cross-sections based on different axes. And this works with all the rendering modes as well. So if I wanted to go back and select wireframe for this, uh, I can do that if I want to. So that's a quick overview of how to get models into Photoshop CS3 Extended and a little bit about manipulating the object using the object tool.